So, good day, ma'am. I am Leslie Andala Passion from BSN22 Group 2. So, for today's video, I will going to demonstrate the assessment of the heart. So, um, for the preparation, introduce yourself and explain to the client what uh, what you are going to do, why it is necessary, and how the client can cooperate. So, good day, ma'am. I am Leslie Ann, your nurse for today. So, for today, I will going to um, assess your heart po. And then, meron po akong mga parts ng inyong katawan na maano, mahahawakan. It, it, uh, okay lang po ba yun sa inyo, ma'am? Yes po. And then, for the next is perform hand hygiene for infection control and um, uh, infection control procedure. And then, for the next is assemble the equipment, the stethoscope, and the cotton balls for the um, disinfecting the stethoscope. So, next is determine the client's history of the following, the client's chest, the uh, palpations, the dyspnea, um, the fatigue, the edema, uh, cardiac, uh, cardiac history, and the family cardiac history, and um, test for the medical history or pass of the medical history. So, for the inspection, inspect the chest to identify the landmark and that aid in assessment of the heart. Check for the visibility of point of maximum impulse or the PMI and may abnormal pulsations. And then for the intercoastal space or the ICS, locate by finding the external angle which is felt as a ridge in the sternum approximately 2 inches below the sternal notch. So, the adjacent rib is the second rib with the second ICS directly below it. It ICS uh, or the other ICS, um, it is in, on the fifth ICS at, at the junction of the second ICF. For the next is the mid-sternal line or the MCN, the imaginary line extending down the middle of the sternum. So, this is the sternum. The, um, the mid-sternal is on the middle of the sternum. Um, next is the mid-clavicular line or the MCL, imaginary line extending from the middle of the clavicle. Um down to the chest. So, dividing the left or the right anterior chest into the in two parts. So, this is the clavicle and on the middle of the clavicle nandun yung uh, mid-sternal line. Next is for the anterior axillary line, the imaginary line extending along the lateral wall of the anterior chest and even with the anterior axillary um, axillary fold. So, dito sa gilid yung axil, uh, anterior axillary line natin. Um, next is the palpation. The client uh, should be lying down and palpate using the fingertips and the palmar. Um, uh, we palpate the Aorta. So, the aorta is in the right side of the chest. And next is uh, palpate for the pulmonic, uh, pulmonic area and palpate the second ICF at the left external border. And then, next is the herbs point. Palpate the third ICF at the external border.
And then the tricuspid area palpate the fifth ICF at the lower left uh, external border. Uh, next is the mitral area palpate the fifth ICF at the left MCL. This is also called the PMI. And then next is for the auscultation, move across and then down the chest with the client to the supine position. Then have the client to lean forward and exhale while you listen over the, I, the ortic area with the diaphragm of the uh, stethoscope. And then ask the patient to breathe comfortably, then hold the breath in expiration and then auscultate to identify the first heart sound at the IS or SI or the lab with diaphragm of the uh, apex at the fifth intercostal space. Hinga pong malalim ma'am and then hold po muna. And then exhale. And then next is ask the patient to breathe comfortably as you listen. And then auscultate to identify the second heart sound or the S2 or the dub with diaphragm at the base or at the, at the base and its um, second intercostal space right external border. And then auscultate the S3 or the S3 with bell of the stethoscope. And then auscultate the S4 soft low pitch and then the sound heard best with the client in supine or left lateral position with stethoscope bell. Auscultate for the rate and the rhythm. So for the normal findings of the uh, rate is 60 to 100 per minute and then the rhythm is regular. Um, next is if the if it is irregular irregular rhythm is detected auscultate for pulse rate deficit by uh, comparing the radial pulse with the apical pulse for a full minute and then for the documentation um, the basis uh, for the documentation the normal findings is based for an accurate reflection of nursing assessments change the changes in clinical state and uh, pertinent patient inform patient information so that's all for the uh, assessment of the heart thank you for watching